Hey, good morning, Jesus is, Lord, thank God. The devil's defeated and the word work. Focus. My son, attend to my word. Now watch this. I'm going to help you today. It's a beautiful day. Kind of early this morning. Sun's just about to try to come up here in a little bit. Beautiful view that I have every day. You know, somebody's got to do it. You see, the weatherman has said we're going to have some bad weather today. Going to start raining about noonish. Rain today, tomorrow, the next day, because that's what's coming off of the backside and the eastern side of that tropical storm that came into about New Orleans last night. So we're going to have some weather today. I'm going to go do what I got to do. The weather doesn't keep me from it. Now watch. It can rain out here. Might have a couple of thunderstorms, pretty hard rain. But I'm not going to let that bother me because I'm going to either stay in the house where I'm protected or I'm going to stay in my car where I'm protected. You don't get wet in the house. You don't get wet in the car, even though it's going to rain. Well, I'm protected by the blood of the Lamb, and I'm staying in the presence of the Most High God. I'm dwelling in the secret place of the Most High God. Now, watch, I'm going to help you. So I'm not going to get wet. Now, I'm going to do, I'm going to go about and do what I always do. I'm going to take my wife out to breakfast. We do that a couple of times a week. And today is a date day for us, and we're going to have a good time. And I'm going to take her to her favorite restaurant. I'm not going to go to one of her least favorite because, after all, it's going to rain out there. I'm going to take her to one of the places she really likes to go because of my love for her, because I want to do what makes her happy. Now, I'm going to preach that. God's going to do for you what you desire, not what I desire. Now, watch Psalm 37, 4. Delight thyself in the Lord, and he will give you, the word in the King James says, grant you the desires of your heart. Now, somebody said, you know, I heard this all my life. Well, all my Christian life, I've heard people say, well, you know, God didn't really mean that. Well, yes, he did. He said exactly what he meant, and he meant what he said. When I was a pastor of a denominational church at a very young age, I might have been 20, I had a guy come up to me, a little boy, 12 years old, and he had his little Bible that somebody had given him uh, with a zipper on it. Y'all remember the one that we had back in those days? He said, preacher, I found this. I said, what's that? He said, well, look, Jesus said over here in Mark 11, he said, what things soever I desire when I pray, believe that I receive them, and I shall have them. Doesn't that mean I can ask God for anything I want? And I said in my religious tone at the time, well, son, you know, we must realize that God didn't say what he meant, and he didn't always mean what he said. i never forget that little boy. I believe God's going to bring him across my path, and I want to tell him thank you. But I'll never forget that little boy there in Four Mile, um, Methodist Church in Four Mile, Alabama, right down where I was in college at Jacksonville. He looked up at me and he said, um, uh, hey, preach, you got a book? What tells me which ones he meant and which ones he didn't mean? Uh, well, son, uh, no. And he said, well, then I'm going to believe what God said, not what y'all said. <laughs> Changed my life. I couldn't get over that. I couldn't get over the fact that if God said it, he meant it. Well, what he said in Psalm 37, 4, delight yourself in the Lord, he'll grant you the desires of your heart. That's exactly what he meant. Now, some people go around and say, well, that means after you come to the Lord, that, that religious term, when you come to God, God changes your desires. He does not say that anywhere in the Bible. Now, I drink all I want to. Now, listen to me. You know, I go out to the bar and drink all I want to. The thing is, I've been changed and I don't want to. But my desires are still the same. Long life, health, money to buy groceries, enough money to pay my bills. Those are my desires, and God grants them to me, gives them to me, because I delight myself in the Lord. Now, let's go back to this thing that I said a little bit ago, but it's going to rain today, going to rain tomorrow. I'm going to get some benefits out of that. I got some bare places down here on my front lawn. I'm going to go plant some grass seed so that when the rain comes, I'm going to get some benefits. Now, we've got a little fruit garden up there. Not really big place, but several trees. You know, we've got blueberries, uh, peach trees, apple trees, maybe a pear tree, some plum trees. I'm expecting the rain to come, and I'm going to benefit from it because we've been watering those trees during this dry spell. And what I'm going to do is sit back and rejoice and say, thank you, Father, for the rain. So when God said he grants you the desires of your heart, he meant exactly that. Now, so watch this. It's going to rain today. I'm going to do what I want to do. You know, when the economic crisis hit, a month after that uh, pandemic hit, 
It didn't hit me because I'm in the secret place of the Most High God, and the God that supplied my needs before the problem supplies my needs during the problem and supplies my needs after the problem. So what I'm saying to you is the word works regardless of what all these natural circumstances are that's around you. So somebody says, um, what are you going to do now? Going to believe God? I believed God through it. I believed God now that I'm on the other side. I've been believing God for, you know, 50 years or so, ever since I found out about the Word of God. It's never failed. It never will fail. It never has failed. Not one. Not one. Watch. Not one of His good promises has failed, and He brings them all to pass. He's just looking for somebody to believe Him for it. That's what the Bible says. The eyes of the Lord are searching throughout the whole earth on the islands out there somewhere, in Europe over there somewhere, in South Africa someplace, in Cuba, in Venezuela, Central America, South America, and especially in Alabama where Frank lives. Listen, the eyes of the Lord is looking for somebody that he can show himself strong in their behalf. Choose to be that somebody. Choose to be blessed and not be moved by the other's yuck. Don't focus on the yuck. Focus on the good. So <laughs> I'm expecting some good things to come my way today. Have a great day and all day. Remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.